Hi everyone, my name is Carl Davis. I'm with the Bayonet at My Place. Uh, today I want to talk about one of the iPhone applications I wrote uh, called My Enigma. Uh, My Enigma is an Enigma machine simulator. Uh, so the question is, what is that? Well, an Enigma machine is the German encryption machine used in World War II. It's probably the most famous of the rotary encryption devices used at that time. Uh, so to use the Enigma machine, you press down on those keys at the bottom that look like old-fashioned typewriter keys. Uh, electrical circuit would close through those rotors at the top, and then that would cause one of the lights to light, which is the encrypted character. The rotors would then shift again, um, so you would get a different value the next time you pressed the same character. And so on and on and on, you would type your character, and that's how you would uh, get your encrypted message. So let's take a look at the machine. Um, I'm starting at my simulation. Uh, you can see the first thing I need to do is set my rotors. We'll click on that. And setting the rotors, that's the key for the encryption. I'm just going to set it to CCC, something simple. And this is the value you would share with your friend who's going to decode the message. So you'd make sure they knew what these were because they're going to have to set them to decrypt the message. Uh, so now we're going to start typing on the keyboard. And it works just like the German machine. As you type on the key, you'll get the light um, above it that represents the encoded key. Now the Germans would write those down on a piece of paper um, as they got them. We don't have to. We've got these text boxes that they get entered in. Now I'm having, I'm struggling a little bit with the keyboard, and the reason for that is it's A to Z in this configuration. Um, so it's a little more intuitive if I set it to a landscape mode. Uh, on landscape mode, the keyboard's basically the same as what was on the Enigma machine. It's mostly QWERTY-like, but uh, not quite. Uh, so you also notice as I'm typing, I have ZZ at the beginning of the message, and that's primarily. So it'd be easy to find out whether my message was decrypted right when I got a message. If I see the ZZ, I know my rotors were set right. Uh, it's not as good cryptologically, I guess, um, but it works. And I don't know if anybody's going to try to brute force uh, <laughs> my simulator by any means. Uh, so let's say we got our message typed now and we want to send it to a friend through SMS or email. We can double tap on the message box, the encrypted message box and then do a copy and now we have a copy of it so we can paste that into SMS or email or or what have you. Um, so let's say our friend now gets the message, they copy it from their email. I'll just clear out here to show what it kind of looks like when they start off. They make sure they go set their rotors to the value that we agreed upon at an earlier date. Alright, so there we go. Um, and then we double tap on the text to encode. And then we do a paste, and we get it back. So that's where that ZZ comes in handy. Ah, ZZ, I got the right message. I love Enigma is the correct message. Uh, so just, you know, as a matter of uh, example here, I'll also go ahead and set the rotors to something wrong. In this case, we'll just leave them set to what they were after we decoded the message. And we'll paste, and we get gibberish, because the rotors were not in the right position. So this is my Enigma Machine Simulator. It really was written as an educational tool, uh, but it does is useful for hiding your diary from your little brother, I guess. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy using it. It's not a perfect simulation. I don't have the plug boards. I don't have a bunch of different rotors, but the idea was keep it simple and make it easy for you to learn about the machine. Uh, so anyway, thanks much. Uh, hopefully you'll visit my site or uh, visit iTunes Store and maybe buy a copy. Bye.